Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about radicals and rational exponents. It's something you'll deal with a lot as you do things uh, like Algebra 1 and beyond, pretty much. Um, so the idea we wanna talk about is how to convert between the two. And so radical form is gonna look something like this. You have, uh, I don't know, the bth root of x to the a, I guess. So b is called the index, um, and then I'm gonna call a the exponent. So um, when we want to convert between this radical form and rational exponents, what happens is we get the base, the exponent, it goes in the numerator, and then the index goes in the denominator. So throughout the video, I'm going to try to color code everything so you can kind of follow where things go. And uh, let's take a look at a bunch of examples. So this is the rule we're going to use. So here's an example. We have the fifth root of x to the 12th. So this is um, a very straightforward one. We just make sure that 12 goes in the numerator, the five goes in the denominator, and you're done. Um, so 12 and five, there's no common factors. Let's look at one where there's actually some common factors. So we might have uh, the third root, or you might say the cube root, of x to the 24th. So the 24 is gonna go in the numerator, and the three is gonna go in the denominator of the rational exponent that we write. So we get that. But then 24 divided by three is eight, so we would definitely wanna rewrite this as x to the eighth. Uh, let's take a look at another one. So this one's gonna be a little more complicated. So we're gonna have the cube root of the fifth root of x to the 29th power. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat this as kind of like two separate problems. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the fifth root of x to the 29th. So it's still gonna be in this cube root. So the cube root, and then, um, so I have the fifth root of x to the 29th. So 29 goes in the numerator, five goes in the denominator of our rational exponent. So x to the 29 over five. And now we're just gonna do it again. So we have the cube root of x to the 29 fifths. So 29 fifths is the exponent, so that's gonna go in the numerator, and the three is gonna go in the denominator of our new rational exponent. So 29 fifths in the numerator, and then three there. And then we definitely wanna clean this up. So that exponent that we're looking at is actually a fraction divided by a fraction. So I'm gonna make it uh, x to the 29 fifths times one third. So I'm multiplying by the reciprocal. So treat the three as three over one, if that's confusing to you. And we can just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. We get x to the 29 fifteenths. And um, okay, so that's a couple of examples. I wanna look at something else that happens very often when you're dealing with this. So you might actually just have something like the sixth root of x. So when you see this and you wanna convert it, in your mind, you don't really need to do it on paper, but in your mind, if you just kind of put that one there, now it makes a lot more sense that this is gonna be equal to x to the 1 sixth, and that's gonna happen just all the time. So you might see something like this. Um, I'm gonna put a one in there just mentally. I'm not actually gonna write it on paper if I'm writing it, but I end up with x to the 1 12th. And then you might see something like this. This is actually the, the most common thing you would probably see, and that's gonna be I'm gonna put in, so mentally, if there's nothing there, if there's no index shown, the index is two. And if there's no exponent shown, the exponent is one. So this is gonna be x to the one half. All right, I wanna do two more things, but we need different properties to do these. You hopefully already know these, but maybe you don't. So the first one, that x to the a times x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b. So for this property to apply, this rule, you need to have the same base. And then once you have the same base, you're just gonna add the exponents. Um, so that's one rule that we're gonna use. And then a second rule is x to the a raised to the b power is x to the a times b. And I always refer to this as the power to a power rule, and you use it a lot. So let's look at an example where I'm gonna use these rules. So this is, this is how I actually do these kinds of problems, really. So I prefer rational exponents to radicals in almost every case. So I look at this and I immediately wanna get rid of the radicals. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite this as x to the fifth to the one fourth power. And I will rewrite this as x to the eighth to the one third power. And then I'm going to write it as x to the five fourths times x to the eight thirds. And now I have um, same base and I'm multiplying, so I'm gonna add the exponents. So x to the five fourths plus eight thirds. 
And now I'm gonna add the exponents. So I'm gonna actually do the work. So I get five times three plus eight times four all over four times three. And I can simplify this. This simplifies to x to the 47 over 12. And then uh, I might, since I started with radicals, I might wanna end with radicals. So you can actually go backwards and you know the 47 is gonna be the exponent and 12 is gonna be the index, so you can just kinda of write it down, the 12th root of x to the 47th. All right, so uh, that's kind of the idea. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.